Hello, my name is Jemmy, and today I'm going to be giving you a brief overview on pandas. Before we get started, I just want to say that all the credit in this video goes to Keith Galley um, because he was the one who gave me the idea to do this video. Most of the code is from him, and if you want this data, I'll leave you a link to his video in the description. And yeah, let's get into it. So today we're going to be discussing about pandas which is a plugin in Python. First off, what I want you to do is run CMD, which is command prompt, and then pip install pandas, like this. Since I already have pandas, I don't need to, but if you don't have it, then if you type this command, you should be able to download pandas. However, if you're not able to, restart your computer and open up CMD again. But instead of opening it up normally, click right, run as administrator, and then type the code, which would pot, which would make it work because that's what I did in order to um, make this uh, PIP install pandas. Now let's move on to the code. You should get his data, Keith Galley's, um, and then download the CSV file and then name it to pokemon underscore data dot csv so we can be on the same track so once you did this first off we have to import and then we have to set a data frame data frame equals to pd which is pandas dot read underscore csv pokemon data dot csv this is the name of the file basically this is saying that for um pd which is pandas to read this um csv file and then store all of the information. This is on Pokemon, which I think is really creative because instead of having on boring like one, two, three, four and column arrays, he based it off of Pokemon, its HP and um, its HP, its species and its types. So I think that is very unique and interesting. For our first code, we're going to do a filter. This is going to be filtering all the um, filtering four columns that we want to see. Um, there's more columns, but we're gonna filter out these four. The name, the type one, HP, and type two. If you were to run this, as you can see, name, type one, HP, and type two. As you might not see that this is much because um, Sublime Text, which is the editor I'm using, you can use any, is shorten it, um, shorten the, array into only like five of the top and five of the bottom and it just shortened the rest so you won't be able to see that much but as you can see it has filtered name type 1 hp and type 2 as we were uh, going to do now this one this command is print df dot head five this is to print the first five rows right here one two, three, four, five. And it lets all the column in. As you can see here, there is not enough room, so they shortened it. But you could see clearly that it is the first five rows. Okay, next one. Print df.ilocate zero to six. I think this one is um, that it's also rows, yes. Okay, so this one is called um, slicing. I'm, ne I don't, I'm not sure if you ever heard of it, but it's basically trying to uncover a part of this. So let's do, it's different. I mean, it could be the same as df.head, but df.head would always start from row zero. The special thing about um, iLocate is that it can start from any row. So we could do from like eight to eight plus five would go to, okay, 14 then. I didn't do plus five, this is plus six. Um, let's run this thingy. Okay, here we go. So it starts from line line eight. No, I should say row eight, all the way to thirteen because it doesn't um how do you call it? It doesn't include the last digit. So as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So we want it, and then that's the um. I call it. That's the. Uh, now that's the filter for this 
code. So as you can see, it's quite different for head. If we did if we did it to fourteen, like so, it would be on, it would be starting from zero to fourteen. But this one, um, it's eight to fourteen, which means that it has uh only got a section of something. Moving on to the next one, this one is um print df dot i locate two to one. I think this is to slice the rows and columns. I'm not sure, but let's just check. Yes, here it is. So um row two is Venisar, and then column one is um also Venisar, which means that it only prints out this one. If we were to look back at the um the rows, let's see this print top five fourteen. As you can see, here is Venisar, right? Two, zero, one, two, which is Venisar, and then it's um to row one, which would be zero, one. This is the Pokédex number, um, I think, and then um this one is the uh the name, which is row one, zero, one, zero, one, two, Venisar. There we go. Pretty so I put a dollar sign. Okay, and that's I mean, this new jacket is kind of annoying. Um, that is the that code. Now we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, this one. No wait, no, I'm one above there. So this one is going to extract all of the Pokemon that type one is bug. Let's see what we've got. As you can see, type one is now all bug. And there's Caterpie, which is one of the, is the most useless poke except for Magic Card. Personally, I think that bug type is pretty useless. So yeah, that's my statement. And yeah, it extracts all the bug type. My favorite type is dragon. Oh, I clicked enter. Um, there we go. See, all of these are good. Look, like there's a whole row that's legendary. Um, let. Oh yeah, th those are good. Dratini. It's like I think it was a small snake dragon thing. Dragonair, and then Dragonite. Dragonite is really really good. In Pokemon Go, you could defeat anything with Dragonite. And yeah, that's it. And that's for Dragon type. And that's for also for this code. Move on to the next one, shall we? Um, this one is. Oh, oh, I see. This one is they're listing, uh, the type by alphabetical order. So bug, 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 bug. And then as you can see, the speed is listed by the one that's greatest, and it goes down. There you go. Yeah, so that's what this code is for. Hmm, brilliant. It lists the type for from out of alphabetical order and the speed from the greatest one down. So greatest to least. Okay, this one. We already did this one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Oh well. Um. So this one, I'm gonna say that it looks kind of complicated, but it's actually not that complicated if you understand what it does. So pretend we want to have like, um, pretend we want to have all of these stats combined it together would be a total of something. And that would be like how we rank the Pokemons by a total of amount of like power. So we could name it total power. Um, it combines the speed, the HP, the attack, the defense, all those um, stats in the Pokemon, and it'll get into total power. And this will be a new column. Okay, let's see it. There we go. There is Bulbazar, Ivysaur, Venusaur, Venusaur Mega. Oh, there's a Mega. Hmm. And as you can see here, this is the total power of each Pokemon. It combines every stat and then puts in here. Wow. Brilliant. And yeah, that's it.
for total power. We're going to be using this again later in the code, so don't delete it. Um, let's see this one. Oh, this one is just going to print all the code. Just print DF, and it would print everything. And you might not see it again because it's, um, how do you call it? It's shortened. And now let's unveil this one. Hmm, interesting. What is this? Oh, oh, I see. So it kicks out. Okay, wait, I'll show you again. So notice this first speed is here, right? But then this code, it gets rid of speed. So it deletes speed. It drops it out. Boop. That speed is gone. And in place is sp.defense. So yeah, that's for drop. Oh, why did I do that? Dang, this new. One second. Okay. Um, moving on to this one. Oh, this one is to save a file. So over here, if we were to do this, I don't know why I named it Wonkalin. I'll just name it Pokemon. Po Pokemon. Okay. And let's just name it Pokedex. Pokedex. Okay. Um, so this is my Pokedex and, uh, I, I can save this. So... If you run this code, you can name it whatever you want, and then if you control B, it will say it's finished, and if you go to the drive, you save your um, program in, then it will pop up a new CSV, which is called the name you put in here, and it will be the exact same thing we're um, doing. Okay, moving on to the next one. This one is dot .locate type, whoa, 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 grass, let's see, oh, okay, so Again, this one is this one is filtering out every single type that has grass in it. I'm not sure how that's different from No, it is the same thing. It's just it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Well, it was no surprise. It's so the some code Yeah, it's the same thing. Well, I I don't know why I put it there, but yeah, it just um filters it out. It it's good to double check and stuff. This one is, oh, interesting. So this one, type one must be grass and type two must be poison. Yeah, bloom, there you go, bloom is poison. Okay, I understand, yeah, okay. So type one is grass and type two is poison. Okay, now this one, the next one, um, oh, this is an or. This sign is for an or. I forgot what it's called, but if you hold shift and then look at your backspace key and go down a little bit, then press that button and you get these symbols for or. Um, and if you print that, it's going to do if type one is grass. Or, or, oh, wait, I should change this to type one. Or is type. No, that doesn't make sense. Or type two is poison, then I then. I want them to print it. There you go. Grass, grass, grass. As you can see, there's a bug. Yeah, because there's bug, because type two of the bug, which is Weedle, is poison. Oh, Weedle, why are you here again? Um, and for this one, it's grass, but type two could be poison, or it doesn't need to be. It just says or, and that's it. Let's look at the next one. This one is um, for extracting all the Pokemon that has Mega in their name. I didn't play Pokemon for a long time, so I didn't know what Mega was. I think it's in like cards too. But if you um, run that, then as you can see, every single Pokemon name that contains the word Mega will be printed out over here. And most of them are legendary because I heard that they were really good. Yeah, I had this guy before, but uh, it has a card and then I ripped it. Okay, moving on. Uh, that is to uh, grab all the names that has Mega in it. Um, let's see the next one. Ooh, ouch, that hurts. Oh, okay, I see why the problem is. We need to import RE, which is, I think it stands for regular code. And then if you um, control B, it should run now. Okay, now this one is... Uh, Print da, 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 contains okay, so it will print all of the um, all of the Pokemon 
type one that contains either fire or grass. So as you can see, there's grass and then there's fire for oh Charmander, hello, you're my starting Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Um, as you can see, there is uh fire, grass and fire mixed all up. If we change fire, no, I'll just change grass. I don't like grass. To dragon, Gragon, nice, great spelling. Dragon, I think it needs to be capitalized. And then we ran it. There you go. There's some dragon types. Gumi. What? What is Gumi? What is Zygarde fifty percent for? Okay, I am very out of date on my Pokemon. Hmm. Gumi. Nice. Okay, moving on. Our next code. Like so. And this one is, uh, what is this? Oh, I think it's going to get every single Pokemon name that has a PI in it, and it's gonna only print out the Pokemon names with PI. Let's see. There we go. Pidgey, oh, that dumb bird. Pidgeotto, mm, the second level. Pidgeot, the third level. And Mega, who would want a Mega Pidgeot? Pidgeot. It's so useless, like, a pigeon, oh my gosh, okay, oh, Pikachu, there we go, the classic Pokemon, the representative for Pokemon, Pokemon's face, there we go, Pinsir is the little crab thingy with the head thingy guy, and then there's Pichu, um, Pikachu's lowest form, Pin, Pin, no, this is Pineco, okay, I am, Piplup, oh, I remember you. Pig Knight, yeah, the fire pig, right? Mm -hmm. Pillow Swine. Oh, I'm still familiar with that. Well, yeah, that's the Pokemons with PI in their name. And that's it for regular code. Oh. And then now this one, I believe this one is turns everything that is a fire type. And then it, instead of saying fire, it says toaster. Like pig knight right here, the fire pig, it turns into a toaster. Instead of fire, it would be toaster. Let's see this. Right here, Volcanion, the one of the best Pokemon, is a toaster. Okay, toaster. And what if we want to change it back? Then we what we do is we would delete this, delete some of this, uh, delete this. Okay, and then we would run this code which would turn everything that toaster into fire so volcanion is fire again good boy and after that that's it for this um code let's move on to the second to last one Oops, bear with me a little this one is as you can see grab our, your total power back okay and we're going to use it to in order to rank all the pokemons not rank, um, to extract all the good Pokemon. As you can see, some of them are good. Wait, 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 over here. Here, let me change this to high really quick. Okay, so uh, let me explain this. It might look a little complicated. So in here, we're going to check if um, the total power of the Pokemon is greater than 500. If it is, then we're going to change generation. It's generation bar over here. It might be one or something into a high quality generation. And then we're going to change um, the what? Oh, no, sorry. Um, we're going to change the generation to high quality. And then in the legendary bar over here, you've, even though it might not be le um, legendary, it may it might be. So we're going to do legendary maybe. That's it. OK, moving on. So let's check our results that Mega Venusaur and Venusaur are both um, 500 plus. Cloisters? Oh, Cloister, the clam. Okay, let's see. Um, we're going to use this code down here to print out specific sections. Okay. Okay, now let's do at the end dish 600 to 650. Whoa, that's a big boy number. Okay, let's see this. Um, there's one, which is this one, Arc, Arc, 
Art chops. Art chops. I am not familiar. Oh, next one. Dharma Nitan Zen mode. I also am not familiar with this one. Uh, am I? I am so off track at Pokemon. Uh, anything? Crookud. Cru oh, this guy. I think I remember him. He's like, yeah, he's a s Darumaka. Oh, Crocodile might be legendary. Oh, this one's good. Oh, this one, this one. <coughs> Zorok. Rock. Mm hmm. Vanillux. Okay. And yeah, that's it. So, those are the Pokemon that might be legendary and is more powerful than the standard Pokemon. Let's look at the last one. This one is using the group by code, and I think that this will sort out. No, it will determine all the means of. Basically, it will grab all the stats of Pokemon in that type, and it will combine them together, and then it will um see how much defense it has. Okay, so it will pretend in the type one there is defense. Then it will show which one has the most defense. Okay. There you go. Steel has the most defense, apparently. Attack is 92, HP is 65, and speed is 55, not that. And then uh, defense is somewhere here, but steel is the strongest. Okay, let's see attack. Uh, attack. Dragon is the most powerful, then comes along with fighting. Okay. See, dragon type is really good. Let's see speed. Probably. Yeah, I knew it. Um, It's flying, and then it's electric. Mm. Let's do, uh, what is it? Um, <laughs> HP. Dragon has the most HP. How about, um, what is there? Legendary? Which one has the most legendary? Flying has the most legendary, apparently. 0.5%. Bug has none, I knew it. It's, bug sucks. Fighting has none. Poison has none. Normal has 0 0.02. I wonder who it is. Water has 0 0.3. Hmm, that's interesting. So yeah, as you can see, we can do many things with this Panda plugin. I recommend you to check out um, Keith's video. And yeah, because his is more detailed than mine. Mine is just a summary of everything. And you should go check out his channel. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.